you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a test. A Chinese company begged me to do some uh, a review on their aquarium test strips and I reluctantly said yes and since I said yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to test the test strips against the Tetra Easy strips that I love to use as well as a, a pH meter and I may e even do some API freshwater test kit tests. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Welcome back fishy folks. There's a great blooper at the end of this of me trying to read a Tetra test strip chart, so make sure you stay to the end. Anyway, folks, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and of course, the notification bell. Uh, so, a while back, this company, Basiki, Bas, Bosike, I don't know how to say it, sent me an email. <coughs> I'm fine. They basically said, Mr. Mike, will you test our test strips? And I, I get these every day. I get aquarium lights, glasses, cookware, I get all kinds of things. I'm like, why are you sending me a fishing pole review request? Anyway, um, and I always, if it's something I'm kind of interested in, which I use test strips, so I would be interested in this, I always try to qualify it. I'm like, have you seen my other videos? I just wanted to be 100% honest. If I think your product is crap, I'm gonna say it, but if I think it's good, I'm gonna say it. They're like, yeah, yeah, we know, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I went ahead and said, yes, yeah, send them to me. They sent me from China two of these uh, cans like this, 125 test strips each, and it does uh, total hardness, nitrate, nitrite, chlorine, carbonate hardness, and pH. <coughs> I'm still fine. Which are the same things that the Tetra Easy strips do. Now, what I'm going to do is sort of a, a, a test strip test off, if you will. Um, I've used these Tetra test strips for probably five or six years, ever since I saw Corey from Aquarium Co-op use them uh, in his shop and his tanks. If they're good enough for Corey, they got to be good enough for me. So um, this has 125 strips. I forget how much it is, but I'll put a link down on, uh, down below for Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. I'll also I always have a link for these. Um, I think these are 100 test strips in here. I think they come in 25 and 100. This is 25 actually. So uh, let's let's do a test. Now here's the thing about test strips folks. A lot of people, especially people that just regurgitate crap they read on Facebook. Test strips aren't accurate. They're pretty accurate. Um, especially the first one you use because everything's sealed, everything's fresh. They become less accurate when, you know, you open them and then you leave them open like this for days. They're probably garbage at that point. Or you put the lid on like this. Now look, that's that's the lid, right? I can go at least two more turns. That's about 2.66 more turns to tighten it, okay? You have to store them securely, okay? So. The instructions for these test strips are very simple. Immerse the strip for two seconds. Do not shake excess water off the strip. Hold the strip horizontally, that's this way, like the horizon, for 60 seconds. Compare against the color chart for immediately within 90 seconds to get accurate results. Here's our color chart right there. Okay, here we go. Count with me, folks. One alligator. Two alligator. Oh, I shook it. I'm an idiot. See, I shook it. I gotta do it again. So what happens, folks? It's it's normal human nature for a man to shake it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry, children. All right, let's do it again. I'm gonna take this other test strip and throw it in the test garbage test strip pile. Here we go. Count with me. One Mississippi. To Mississippi, don't shake it, don't shake it, don't shake it, don't shake it. Alexa, set a timer for 60 seconds. One minute, starting now. While we're waiting for that, we're going to do the Tetra test strip one. These test strips are a little old. Uh, they're probably six months old, but I do um, 
tighten the cap really tight. So here we go. This is only one second in the water and then 60 seconds wait. One Mississippi. Alexa, set a second timer for one minute. Second timer, one minute, starting now. While she's counting, we're gonna go with our pH meter. Uh, I've done a review on this. I'll put a link up here for that video as well as a link down below on Amazon. I find this very, very useful in the fish room, especially if you have 60 tanks. Um, and it's kind of interesting how uh, pH does vary in different tanks based on bio load and some other things. So anyway, uh, these, the only problem with these is you have to calibrate them. I just calibrated this last week. So here we go. Put it in the water. 7.3. Alexa, stop the timer. pH of 7.3. Let's check the first test strip. Try to pick it up. Can't pick it up. There we go. All right. So uh, total hardness, which is 300. That's great. Nitrate, 25. Perfect. That's actually out of the tap. That's kind of interesting. I've never even checked that. Alexa, stop the timer. Huh. I'm going to have to check a tank. Anyway, nitrite, zero. Chlorine, zero. Now you guys might be saying to yourself, but, but Mike, how can chlorine be zero out of your tap? Well, it's because it's from my auto water change system. Ha! Uh, KH, zero. That's, that's bad. And pH, 6.4. So 6.4 is almost a whole uh, number, degree, off of this, which I believe to be more accurate. Let's check our test strip test chart from Tetra. Say that three times fast. All right, nitrate between 20 and 40, so 25 is about right. No nitrite, total hardness of 75. Well, this one said 300, this one says 25. Total chlorine zero, alkalinity 40 or KH 40, so there's a little bit difference, and pH comes in at about seven, little about 7.2. So <clears throat> depending on what you believe, uh, and I believe the Tetra test strips to be more accurate, um, these are a waste of money. Not accurate enough, especially with pH. Um, now I've checked my KH manually with drops, which is a pain in the behind. And the Tetra test strips seem to be pretty accurate. They're pretty close. So <clears throat> these are a do not recommend, two out of 10. Of course, the Tetra test strips, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. pH meter, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. That does it, folks. Honest review by Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, while you're having that great day, why don't you check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and buy lots of fish. See ya. Well, fishy folks, uh, the Tetra test strip um, chart. You have to. Um, um, you have to. God damn it. All right, fishy folks, the uh, Tetra test strip chart was jacked up because it, uh, it stuck together and I couldn't, while I was doing filming the video, use my phone because I was using my phone as a second camera, but I stopped the video, I got the, the chart. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna do the whole video again. All right, here's the, here's the uh, Tetra test strip, which is the ones that I've always recommended. Now, some people, Ask me about other test strips. Uh-oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. We have a problem here, folks. We have a problem here. This might this test might be aborted. Let's see what I can salvage. pH is really what I'm looking for. Yeah, pH looks pretty low on here too, but I can't tell because look, it's all
jacked up. Can't tell.